I'd like to begin by asking all of the students here one simple question. What are your goals? Think about it. To this day, there is no question I love more than this one. It's honestly exhilarating. I'm a senior in college, so for years, this question had me dreaming big. Cultural change, structural change, policy change. My mind was chasing after everything, and then I hit a wall. You see, my goals were limited by a very different question. What is the role of a student in their college community? You know, at first this can sound like a really easy question. We're here to learn, get an education, a degree. We're customers. But I believe there's more to it. What if I were to tell you that students could be stakeholders for their own colleges and that this could change the world? Today, let's reimagine the business model of higher education. And it's a conversation about structures, yes, but even more so, it's about culture. This is the first thing we need to understand. Being a customer is cultural. So what does that mean? Well, it's the inclination to live transactionally. I call it customer culture, and students are stuck in it. And one of the most evident examples are what students say. So here are some direct quotes from my peers. I paid $40,000 just to have bad Wi-Fi. <laughs> I didn't look good on my resume. I don't want to give feedback, I just want my grade. And as long as I get a job after college, I honestly don't care. Now, I don't know about you, but I noticed two things about these comments. One, as students, we reinforce this customer role on ourselves. And two, we have no idea how our schools are financed. But how could we? We certainly don't have curricula on it. But at the very minimum, here's what we do know. Students, or their families, pay tuition, room, and board to a school in exchange for these four things. A degree, enough content for a decent resume, a job or grad school acceptance after they graduate, and hopefully a good experience. And it's the whole college package that we feel entitled to after we put down our deposit. And this makes sense. This is the transaction. Should we care about these things? Absolutely. I know that I do. But at the same time, many students are working hard to improve their college communities. But over the last four years, I have seen customer culture stop them again and again. Students' concerns have been validated, but without any administrative action. Students who want to improve their community have been praised, exceptionalized, and then pacified. A student's need for change in policy has been met with, I'm so sorry, but there's nothing I can do right now. My hands are tied. Why? Because there are always other stakeholders. Now wait a minute. A lot of faculty and staff do prioritize giving students agency, so what is happening here? The issue is that colleges have boundaries between company and customer, just like any other business. When Apple makes software updates, all of their customers must react to the changes. Or, well, switch to Samsung. But beyond that, <laughs> they are totally reactive. And it would be crazy for Apple to let some unhappy customer redesign software. Apple has boundaries. And so do colleges. So when we try to make structural changes as students, we actually breach those boundaries. But unlike other companies, colleges are also communities. Connection and impact are crucial for every member. And in this way, we have to value that connection. Students who are disconnected from community development are more likely to organize against administration and assume the worst in them. And this fosters breeding grounds for bad publicity minimizes opportunities for improvement, and maximizes burnout for everyone. And in this way, customer culture actually disadvantages academic institutions. But the implications for students run even deeper. It's the honor societies, accolades, leadership positions, and dean's lists that position self-promotion as the incentive. And when we are rewarded for self-promotion and discouraged from change-making, it changes the way that we think. And like any customer, 
We'll do everything we can to get more and give less. Why does this matter? Well, the National Student Clearinghouse Research Center estimated a national enrollment of just under 16 million students in the spring of 2022. That's the scope of this issue. Just in the US, just in that one semester. So at this rate, what can the future of work expect from us? A desire for recognition or impact? In 2015, the United Nations established these 17 Sustainable Development Goals to achieve by 2030. But how could we help reduce inequalities or mitigate the climate crisis if we're intrinsically motivated by personal benefits? The good news is that right now, many colleges are already working to dismantle the transactional relationship between institution and students. Berea College in Kentucky covers 100% of every student's tuition. And eight other universities in the US allow students to work for the school in lieu of paying for tuition. And Hope College, my school, launched Hope Forward, a program that will completely eliminate tuition from the business model by allowing students to agree to donating money and relying on the gift economy. Now these, are, again, are just a few of the examples of student goals that are working to dismantle the transactional structure. But we can't dismantle the transactional culture if students aren't a part of the innovation process themselves. Recipients by nature, customers by consequence. What I'm proposing is to engage students in stakeholder culture within their colleges while they're still students. Now, Stakeholder culture is simply the inclination to take accountability for things bigger than ourselves. And while faculty and staff may have this as their mainstay, students need to participate in this robustly. Now, this can be implemented in four different realms. Structure, information, conversations, and conscience. Let's talk about structures first. If students are stakeholders too, then they should have a direct role in designing what it is their school aspires to be. Now, my stakeholder approach to higher education is not a new idea. It's no different than black feminist scholar Bell Hooks' grounded theory, which promotes problem solving from the bottom up to create systems that work for everyone. And since most student bodies are more diverse than their faculty and staff, this approach is essential. This means moving student government bodies into the organizational structure and out of a strictly retroactive role. Students have been utilized for collecting data and supplying it, which is great, but students should be allowed to apply their data to real actions, not just recommendations. And we should enable our board of trustees to ideate and problem solve with students, not just meet them. Academic excellence to me is about equipping students to change the world. The students most equipped for change making are the students who have already done so in college. Now one result from structural changes like these is that invested students become invested donors. Problem solving actually increases student investment in the school's mission, but only if they're given the space to be taken seriously. After all, brand loyalty is a matter of trust. Let's move on to, converse, er, to information. Look, administratively, politically, financially, there's so much to learn. Real institutions are really complex. And while faculty and staff are quite literally experts, students have to get caught up in how their own institutions function. Informed students will be able to pair their user experience with stronger empathy, strategic thinking, and institutional know-how, all to offer more valuable innovation for their schools and for their own futures. But students can't help unless we're informed on how things work. Next, let's talk about conversations. Us students are socialized by everyone around us. So whoever you are, we need to start asking students hard questions. Like, what impact do you want to make in the world? What do you feel is your responsibility to the students around you? And these are just a couple, and yes, they are hard, but I don't hear them often enough. Let's encourage students to think bigger. 
Finally, the realm of conscience. To my fellow college students, we need to start thinking like stakeholders. Because if we start thinking like stakeholders instead of customers, we could change everything. This world has so many challenges waiting for us. But if we can steward our college communities, then we can help steward the world. So today, I invite you to realize your agency. Practice it in real ways. Collaborate. Exercise your humility. Listen to your community. And love it well enough to do something. I feel the constraints of customer culture every day. And for me, it's personal. We need students to be stakeholders. And the world needs this too. So to my peers around the world, your actions are your story. Your resume is just your table of contents. You will be okay. So now I will all leave you with my one question. For both you and your community, what are your goals? Thank you.